your asset in Chile contains ionic uh, clay deposit. Tell us why this is significant. Yeah, so the ionic rare earths uh, or the ionic clays that contain these rare earths are, are different to the, the typical uh, rare earths that are extracted from hard rock type deposits. So uh, globally, most of the rare earths are produced through the hard rock kind of conventional mining process and most of it is, is coming out of China, as most people know at this stage. Uh, there are a few ionic clay resources uh, that have been identified in the world today. In fact, there are three of them and uh, we own one of them. There's a, a second one in uh, Brazil and a third in Uganda. And those are the only three that have been identified as economically viable to, to produce at this stage. What makes the ionic rare earth clays uh, more interesting uh, is that the development process for extracting the rare earths is a lot simpler than the traditional mining approach with the hard rock rare earths in that we don't have any blasting, we don't uh, need to crush or grind so our carbon footprint is very low. The extraction process is very simple. Uh, we use a, uh, a fertilizer essentially to extract the rare earths, it's ammonium sulfate. Uh, we wash the clays with this ammonium sulfate which extracts the rare earths through an iron exchange process and then we take those barren clays and we wash them with uh, clean recycled water and we discharge them back into the, uh, back into the, the area that we took them from as a stable dry clay, essentially uh, a low moisture clay. And, uh, and so the, the, there's no tailings facility that's required in, the, in this kind of mining. Um, and a key difference between what, what, what we're doing and what uh, the traditional rare earth companies need to do is the, the management of uh, radioactive elements. So we don't produce any radioactive uh, discharge or there's no radioactive stream in anything that we do. So uh, that sets us apart from, from the other types of mining operations producing uh, rare earths.